This is Glenn Fox. I recently attended a webinar on seven ways to get traffic to your website. These weren't just any seven ways. These were the seven most powerful ways that top producers were using to get the traffic to their website. And this was the traffic that was making them the kind of income that qualified them to be top producers. So I'd like to share these seven methods of getting traffic to your website. I'd like to share them with you. Some of them are ways that I use, and some of them are not. I'm going to share all seven of them with you. The first means of getting traffic to your website is with Instagram. Believe it or not, there are a lot of people using Instagram to generate traffic. Instagram has become a major social media site. The fact is, people like images. We've always liked images. But in the day that we live in, it's easy to share images with other people. And as computers have gotten better, images aren't just uh, pixelated, hard to see um, forms of communication, but they've become excellent in quality. And we like to see what it is that people are talking about. And you've heard the old adage that says, a picture is worth a thousand words. So what are some of the reasons that Instagram has become so popular? One, of course, is because people do love to see images. And this gives them a medium for sharing their images with the world. And the second reason is that this is just plain an easy way to get traffic. The steps that are required to be taken in order to generate traffic with Instagram are probably fewer than with most other means of getting traffic. So from a marketing standpoint, there aren't very many steps that have to be followed. We're not going to go into details here on a short video, but I'd like to at least cover the basics for you. What do you need to know in order to dominate Instagram? Well, the first thing that you need to do is create images. And to create images, I would recommend that you use a service called Canva. Canva is a service that'll make it easy for you to create images by using templates, upload your own images and manipulate them, and just help you in creating the kind of images that you want to post on Instagram. So what kind of images do you want to post on Instagram? That depends, of course, on the niche that you're in, on what it is that you're trying to promote. Of course, in my case, most of the people I'm talking to are involved in internet marketing. So you can put a personal development quote. You might put a quote concerning something that they need to do or something that will be a tip to help them in one of the things that they're doing. Most of the people who are really crushing it on Instagram are only doing two or three posts per day. So it's not an enormous amount of posts that you need to do. And then the way that they're doing it is they're simply putting it on there. For more information, see my bio. Or for a free gift, see my bio or for a free report, click on my bio. Then they're doing a free giveaway and in that way they get these people on their email list and from there they can go ahead and follow up. So to dominate on Instagram, first you need to create images, three to five per day is adequate and you need to develop a good gift as a giveaway. So what is a good giveaway? Well I listened to a webinar once by lead pages that of course deals with thousands of people who are doing opt-in pages and their research indicates that a lead page isn't necessarily a long ebook or a piece of software they found that just a simple report can be one of the most effective ways of attracting people to go ahead and opt into your list. Mike Hobbs simply has a report that's called a four-step action plan for getting more leads and more sales. So it doesn't have to be something really complicated. Something simple to develop, yet something that people want. What do people want in the internet marketing industry? Well, you know as well as I do. What is it that you would like and that you would respond to? Things that have to do with ways of getting traffic. Things that have to do with ways of getting more opt-ins or a higher percentage of opt-ins. Of course, things that have to do with getting more sales, means of getting your messages out there that maybe you've never thought of before, the kind of tools that 
are useful to you in your internet business. So coming up with a good giveaway is a very important part of your strategy for dominating Instagram. But it's also part of your strategy in almost every other type of lead generation that we're going to talk about in these seven ways to get traffic. The next thing you need to be able to do on Instagram is to add friends or followers or whatever they call them on Instagram. And you need to be able to do this on autopilot so you don't have to sit there and manually do it. To help you do that, you need to go over to a service called Intergress. That'd be intergress.com. And this is a system that will help you automate your process of adding followers on Instagram. And one other tip here is that you can use a service called OnlyPult. It is a paid service, but what it'll do for you is help you to schedule your posts so that you don't even have to be there to post them all the time. And it'll also make it so that you can post it from different kinds of devices. You don't have to be on your smartphone in order to do the posting. And that's really about all there is to getting traffic and even dominating with Instagram. I said at the beginning it was easy. It is easy, but you still have to be consistent. You have to be doing those posts every day. You have to set up your, your uh, autopilot mechanisms. But once you've got it set up, then the leads will keep coming in. And you'll find that every time that you post on Instagram, you'll get some new leads. So I want to challenge you to go ahead, try it out, see if it doesn't work for you. You can add it to whatever you're doing, or you may enjoy it enough that it someday becomes your main source of getting leads. Those who are doing really well with Instagram are reporting getting 20 to 30 leads per day just from Instagram. And now what I want to ask you to do is if you got any value out of this whatsoever, would you please leave me a comment below and let me know and if there are any other subjects that you feel would be valuable to hear about, I would appreciate knowing about that also and I'll see if I can help you on that.